Hey guys, welcome, welcome back, back to Bulldog, Bulldog Buzz. Buzz. I'm Cody Dodson. And I'm Caleb Kernigan. And we are anxious for this week's segment. Brad and Cam are bringing you the news on the sports. Rachel's showing you guys how to dye Easter eggs. And Val is making a carrot cake. It sounds like a great time before Easter. Now on to Brad and Cam with the sports. Thanks, Cody and Caleb. I'm Brad. And I'm Cam. And, and we, we are, are here, here with the sports. sports. Starting with girls soccer. The girls soccer team beat LSA on their senior night with a score of 11-1. to Whoa, that's impressive. I wish I would have gone to see that. Yeah, me too. The girls have a game this Saturday against Centennial. The game will be played at the Mid-State Fields due to construction here at St. T. Good luck, girls. Now on to baseball and softball. The baseball team had two games this week, losing the one on Monday to Meridian with a score of 7-3. to But the boys bounced back on Tuesday, beating Tescola by a score of 5-1. to Their next game is on Monday against Shelbyville here at St. T. The softball team also played Meridian and Tescola this week. They lost both games, but a quick shout-out to Lula Sassano for hitting two home runs the other night against Tuscola. Whoa, that's insane! Two home runs in one game? I know. So now on to boys track. The boys track had a meet this last week, placing second place out of 15 teams at Arthur last Saturday, and placing first in all of the relays, with Colton Dietz, Denim Cook, Jeremy Walker, and Christian Harper in the 4x1, Nate Smith, Denim Cook, Jeremy Walker, and Christian Harper in the 4x2, Caleb Kernigan, Christian Brilly, Cameron Kernigan, and Martin Belchek in the 4x4, and Caleb Kernigan, Martin Belchek, Cameron Kernigan, and Evan Cook in the 4x8. Also, congratulations to Gus Striglis for placing second in the 3200, Jeremy Walker for placing second in the 100 and 200, and Caleb for getting second in the 800. That's all we have for the sports this week. Back to you, Cody and Caleb. Thanks, Brad and Cam. Boys track has been killing recently. I'm definitely looking forward to following our results. Now on to Rachel with How to Die Easter Eggs. Thanks, Caleb and Cody. I'm Rachel, and I'm here with Megan and Miley, and we're going to dye Easter eggs. The first step, boil the water. <laughs> now we take the tongs and we put them in before the waters to a full boil. <gasps> Look, it did it! Ooh, uh, that white stuff is our cracked egg that we put in there. <laughs> so that, um... Look how cool that is! Forms to the egg. <laughs> Once the water boils, you turn the heat off and you put the lid on and you wait 10 to 12 minutes. Here are the different colors we have to dye the eggs. So now that the eggs are done boiling, we put them in a bowl of cold water to cool before we dye them. So we only have six eggs to decorate. In these ones, you put a little plastic wrap on them and then you put them in the boiling water and it like forms to it. Take an egg and you take this here white crayon and you can draw images on it with the crayon so that when you put it in the dye and you take it out, the places that you colored with the crayon will be white. So you can make designs. I'm gonna take this thing and I'm gonna put the egg in it and then I'm gonna put the egg in the dye. I'm gonna do blue. I'm gonna do the blue and I just gently set it in there and I'm gonna let it sit. The longer you let it sit, the deeper the color. So what we learned with this egg is you're not supposed to really touch it right away, so it kind of ruined it. Um, this one turned out cute, we used the stickers. This was one of the shrink wrap ones. This one we just did green. We dyed one of the shrink wrap ones, and so it just does where the shrink wrap's not. Um, this is the one Rachel showed you in the video. This is one of Miley's. She wrote hay on it. Uh, and there is a stick figure. Um, this one has some flowers on it. This one's also Miley's. And then this was one of the other shrink wrap ones. Let's crack one open. Very clean peel, 10 out of 10 hard boiled egg. You can see in my face, I was amazed. That's how you dye Easter eggs. I hope you all enjoyed. Back to you, Cody and Caleb. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. Dying Easter eggs is a super fun activity to spend some quality time with your friends or family. I agree. I might have to get some friends together this year and try dying eggs. Now on to Val with how to make a carrot cake. Thanks, Caleb and Cody. So I'm doing another baking segment with my mom. Say hi. Hi. And today we're going to be making carrot cake with cream cheese frosting in the spirit of Easter. So let's get started. Now I'm going to start off with all the ingredients we're going to use for the cake itself. You're going to want eggs, sugar, 
canola oil, but we we're using vegetable oil today. It's a perfect substitute. Flour, ground cinnamon, baking soda, baking powder, salt, nutmeg. We're using organic nutmeg today. And carrots. You can get big carrots, small carrots, but we're gonna go with baby cut carrots for today. Now, in the recipe, it says to grate the carrots, but we're gonna juice the carrots. And you can put them in the food processor as well. It's whatever you're feeling. I still don't know what, you know what I mean? Okay, so now we're gonna make the frosting. Excuse my outfit change, I went to a baseball game. They won. Anyway, so we're gonna want softened butter, cream cheese, I, we use Philadelphia, and that's what I recommend. Vanilla extract, confectioner sugar, milk, we use lactate because it's easy on the stomach. Chopped walnuts, which are optional, but we're gonna use them. I have Megan here, and she's gonna try my amazing cake. Yay! It looks moist. Thanks. Yummy. All right, now let's try it. We don't got forks. Mmm. Mmm. What's in the icing? Walnuts. Mmm. Ten out of ten. Make it. Started. Thanks, Val. That cake looks really good. I know, right? It's almost like I can taste it to the screen. It's very fitting for the Easter season and all, since, you know, rabbits like carrots. Yeah, you know, sadly, I'm actually allergic to orange things, so Are I can't have carrots. Really? I'm yeah. so sorry. I love carrots and orange foods. Anywho, happy Easter, you guys. We all hope you have a wonderful Easter break with your friends and family. Are you doing anything for Easter break? I, I mean, I'm running every day for track, so that's yeah. my Easter. Well, I'm golfing every day, so. Well, that's fun. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Cody. And I'm Caleb. And we will see you guys next time for another episode of Bulldog, Bulldog Buzz! Buzz.